It's June and it's still cloudy in London, so that can only mean one thing, tennis at Wimbledon. So who should you be looking out for over the next two weeks at the All England Club? Among the men, there are serious questions surrounding defending champion Roger Federer. If the seven-time champion doesn't perform well, he could easily slip to, gasp, fifth in the world rankings. And the draw means he could meet Rafa Nadal, who seems to have made a full comeback from knee surgery in the quarterfinals. The two haven't played on grass since that epic final in 2008, which Nadal won. The home crowd, meanwhile, will pin its hopes on who else but Andy Murray. He won Olympic gold at the All England Club last year, but lost in the Wimbledon final. These are inevitably the two weeks when everyone in Britain seems to know that it hasn't had a men's singles champion since Fred Perry in 1936. But what about men outside the usual suspects? Number four seed David Ferrer's quarter of the draw could be wide open. The likes of Juan Martin Del Potro, a one-time US Open winner, Grigor Dimitrov and Milos Raonic in the mix. On the women's side, things could begin and end with Serena Williams. In winning this year's French Open, the 31-year-old showed that she could still be every bit as dominant as when she was 21. She's looking to add her sixth Wimbledon title. But one of the women who could stop her is number three seed Maria Sharapova. The Russian lost to Williams in the final in Paris, but could have a relatively untroubled path to the semifinals. Number four seed Agnieszka Radwańska will like her road to the semis as well. Though she's had a quiet year, she reached the final last year where she managed to actually take a set off Williams. And this time around, she wouldn't have to face anyone in the top three until the semi-finals. But really, how likely is it that Wimbledon will crown a new women's champion? Well, consider this. Seven of the last ten winners have been named Williams.